And welcome back here to the to the Iona Insider pregame show. John Sinka here with head coach Billy Gotti. Coach, you guys went one and one the opening weekend, a win against Arizona, a loss against Bowling Green. How do you feel as a team played overall? Um, I think we did a pretty good job this weekend. Um, I would have liked to see a better comeback in the second game with us, you know, being ready and starting a game with as much energy as we did against Arizona. But, you know, I'm I'm proud of the girls that they played really, really hard uh, and, and continue to try to stick to what we've been asking them to do. Against Bowling Green, you guys only had two free throw attempts. They came late in the second half. You had 24 against Arizona. Was that just the way the game was going, or how could you work on that as a coach to get to get your players to the free throw line more? I think that was that's exactly a testament to us not starting the game that way that we wanted to play it. Um, we talked to them a lot about Bowling Green wanting to play the game in the half court set, and us wanting to push tempo. Uh, and we did not start the game doing that. Um, so we weren't aggressive in our offense. We weren't aggressive in the things that we were doing. So it didn't allow us to get to the foul line. Um, so we've discussed that with them and, and said, you know, when we push it, we're a better team. When we push it, we can get to the foul line. Um, and we need to get back to doing that. A big thing to take away game against the Falcons was Aaliyah Robinson coming off the bench, played really, really well. Uh, what can you say about her, that the spark plug she brings uh, onto the court? Aaliyah's a good kid, and she works hard, and she gets in, and she gets shots up, and she tries to do whatever she needs to do to help the team uh, be successful. Um, so she's been in the gym every day, you know, the past couple of weeks and, and trying to get her shots up, and it, it really showed in that Bowling Green game. So we were excited to see her uh, play so well. Alicia Powell only played 15 minutes in that game. Was that because of foul trouble, or was that the, just the way Aaliyah was playing? You had to keep her in the game because she was a hot hand. I, I think originally we took her out because of the foul trouble, and then once Aaliyah got in and was, it was working with that mix, we tried to stay with a little, Aaliyah a little bit. Um, so we just try to use whoever uh, has a hot hand that night. Someone struggling a little bit right now is Cassie Ranger. She's one of eight from the three-point line, but we know she can hit them from beyond the arc. She has no limit to her range at all. How could you get her going? It's still early on in the season, but how could you get her going? You're right. Cass, I think it's just shooting her way out of it, and, and good shooters shoot their way out of it. Um, and she obviously is a phenomenal shooter, and she'll get back to where she needs to be, um, nursing a little bit of an injury. So it's kind of you know throwing her a little bit, which I think contributes to the different release of her shot. But you know she'll be back in it really soon. Aaliyah Hanford is the big star for St. John's, the team you play today. She averaged 10 points a game as a freshman. How could you limit her today? Uh, we're going to we're gonna play her as, as the player that she is, know that she's an all-around player, know where she is all the time. We've, we've talked to them a lot about knowing where she is as soon as she steps on the court, as soon as she walks in the gym, we know exactly where she is. Uh, and then taking individual responsibility in our defense, having pride and trying to keep her in front of us, and then really helping in our gaps and our help defense. Uh, their roster has nine guards and three forwards. They're a small team. How can you take advantage of that? They are a small team, but they're a quick team, and they're well-coached, and they and they utilize their sets well to take advantage of the fact that they're a small team. Um, but obviously us being on the other side of it, we're going to try to get the ball inside a little bit more, uh, go to our post players and, and let them do some work inside, uh, and then you know just, just be really aggressive in what we try to run since we do utilize the post and utilize bigger kids a little bit better. The Red Storm had 40 points in the paint despite being small in their overtime win against Sacred Heart. How do you defend against their driving ability to get in the lane? Yeah, like I said, they're, they utilize their system well. They all drive it very, very well. Um, they have some pretty good shooters. Um, so, again, we're going to have to take pride in our individual on-ball defense, um, be in the gaps, be in help, uh, especially on the weak side help, uh, and be able to close out well to uh, the kids who really want to drive it from the perimeter. This is the first road game of the year. Is the, is the home opener for St. John's as well? Just some extra added pressure for you. What do you tell your players, and especially your freshmen? It's their first road collegiate game uh, heading into heading into today's matchup. Just keep talking about it, the reality of it. it. It is the first. It's the first time we're going on the road together. You know, they got a little taste of it when we went, you know, away for our one of our scrimmages, which was nice to get them a little bit used to that. Um, but just continuing to have the upperclassmen in their ear saying. It's just a game. It's the same game we played at home. It's just in a different gym, and, and we'll be fine. You know, just continuing to talk to them about just being prepared no matter when it is, no matter where you are. All right, Coach, good luck today. Thank you. Stay tuned for more here on IonaInsider.com.